Hello and welcome to episode 45 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. I chose this special title screen with the metal cover of the main theme because this is going to be a fast paced, not the beginning of the video, but the end, a fast paced video, a very fun video. It's in the middle of the night, I was not supposed to make a Night Owl Slayer video, but I saw this patch coming out and man, things are going to be crazy. You do not want to miss that. Let's check it out. This is the only clip before Spirit Boost patch. Just a few little things like this here. I did not know you could click to swap between USP and SP. I'm not ashamed to show things I probably should know by now, but you know, it happens. I didn't know that. And there's something else. James McLaren, I want to thank you for giving me fantastic advice. I'm going to show you a little trick. A lot of you probably know that. I didn't. Rounded bulk buy. I never used that. Did not know it existed, to be frank. So he saw me struggle, not struggle, but it's uh, tedious to round up the numbers. So you go max everywhere, and then, for instance, I will go like this 1, 1, 1, and go 10. So here I can't. Let's go on the axe, for instance, and bring it to 350 to show how tedious it is. He saw me do that, so he told me, hey, if you use that option, it will round it up for you. See? So let's look at this one. 204 goes to 250. So that will make my life much easier after Ascension. So thank you, James McLaren, for making my life easier. Very nice. Now, I retro Ascendant recently. Last episode, in fact. Uh, I do have 50 USP, so it doesn't take very long to fill up the tree. As you can see, I made pretty good progress and things are getting very expensive. I think you're going to see me buy one thing. That's it. Materials, 487 wood. I wanted to go to the village. That's why I was recording. But I did not uh, remember that my portal was on cooldown. So unfortunately, I could not go to the village, but we're going to go later to deposit mats. Okay, and that's it. And now we are in the patch, and uh, it's very interesting. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, first of all, there's a secret song. More on that in a moment. I want to talk about divinities right away. It goes fast here. Okay, divinity. Increase the chance of getting spirit boost mods during a bonus stage by 25%. So I said, okay, nice. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's pretty good. It's going to give me bonuses, whatever. So I'm going to buy this Divinity. It's a no-brainer. Um, now, all I was looking forward to is to get, of course, a bonus stage. Here I ascended. I'm going to spend everything I have on this upgrade. I'm thinking for a second, but I'm going to buy it. All right. So we're pretty close to the moment here. I'm just going to start buying stuff, you know, after the ascension, as we usually do. But I am pretty close to my first try. And here I got 28 jewels of soul. I need 50. I will explain to you at the end of the video why it's going to take me a while to get Haskell. This is due to the way I decided to manage my dragon eggs. You'll see what I mean. A little trick I'm going to use. And these are my daily quests. And it does include a complete six bonus stage section. Got 387 wood. So I was hesitating, should I go to the village or, you know, kill scorpions in the hot desert? My wood went down because I used the staff for uh, completing quests, you know. Okay, this is my first try. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the first try ever. Spirit boost enabled, so it procced. I did five tries. All five runs that I did, it procced, okay? So... I had no clue what this thing was. Let's figure this out. So I saw these big orbs. I said, okay, oh wow, Ooh, okay, it gives you a lot of speed, makes it tougher. So my objective was to pick up as many of these big orbs as possible. Sorry about the pronunciation here. And I fell, you saw me fall, so I can kiss goodbye my bonus boxes at the end. I didn't care. This is a test run. I just want to see what kind of bonuses you get. The more of these big orbs you get, the more bonus, right? So let's keep going and try to get as many orbs as we can, the big ones, without failing the stage. 
Okay, good. So this part's not too bad. It's unfortunate that I fell once. Oh, I fall here. Usually I don't fall here, so maybe it was due to the pressure uh, of and the excitement. So I just picked up two of them in a row and I almost failed here. But I made it, so I was happy. I didn't really care how many I got, I just tried to get as many as possible to get a nice and juicy bonus because we do need a lot of SP. I mean, we want 1 trillion SP for one upgrade and 500 billion and things like this, right? So I was so happy to. Uh, to get uh, these new bonuses. Let's keep going and try to get more of these orbs that give you the speed and I hit saws. And... Well, I'm going so fast that hitting saws is not the end of the world, but imagine trying to get Feyar under those conditions. Pretty tough. There you go, so I made it here. First try ever. It seems like I'm gonna make it on my first try, but with falling, so I'm not gonna get the bonus boxes. I'll tell you the final results. Uh... Of the five tries after that and that's the last area so small jump big jump so I tried to do it normally and there was an orb I couldn't get uh, this one under me but I said ah, I got a bunch so it should be good I said why is there no counter on how many orbs I have special orbs but whatever you know all right I said at the end of the bonus stage you're gonna give me my bonuses probably you know when it's like when you unlock a character or something like that. All right, so it's gonna see bonus stage completed. All right, let's see what we got. Nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> so I bought a divinity to make the level tougher. I succeeded and I got nothing. Okay, I fell though. So. I was like, okay, is something I don't understand. Is this a placeholder of sorts? Are they gonna add rewards later? I don't know. I'll give you my full opinion of this a bit later while we wait for uh, the song for a second time. Uh, I'm about to unlock the new song, the special or secret song, but I'll mess it up, I'll make a mistake. Um, yeah. Uh, so I five times, okay, so I succeeded four times, two times with falling, one time with second win, one time perfect with all the boxes, but I hit saws and I failed once. Okay, so this is the result of my five tries and all five tries it procced the, the spirit boost, whatever it's called. So I don't know what the odds are. Was I extremely lucky or does it proc all the time? I really don't know. But anyways. 387 wood, so it's time to go to the village. I'm about to do that, but first we're going to uh, play the song. And uh, I read on Discord, but I probably misread, but it seemed like the song would continue through zones. So I activate the song, get the achievement. But when I'm gonna go to the village, the song will end, so I'll have to reset the game so we can listen to the music while I make comments about this uh, update or patch, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let's go to the village. So I don't have that many uh, uh, dragon scale, 20 left, so I can go five more times. So I'll be careful how many times I go, but I do have to go quite a few times because I need a lot of wood. I should probably be 100% maxed out. By the way, I was sitting there because I couldn't believe that uh, the music was over. I said, oh, I'm just gonna reset the game. 7,500 wood that I need, that's a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna have to spend time in the desert and in Mystic Valley to be able to complete this. But I do have all the Yeti Fangs. Giant Yeti Fangs. Here, I want to check if Jack was here. Does he ever show up or not? I don't know. And then last thing I'll do is just go in the little house here. Every time I go to the village, I'm just gonna go to this bookshelf just in case something happens. Then we're gonna cut and keep going with the video. This insomniac video. I should be sleeping right now, not making videos. <laughs> okay, time to put the song on. Okay, let's listen to it together. Um, 
just a few comments while so what i'm doing right now is i'm waiting for another bonus stage uh, i do like this song by the way do you like it it's pretty good so what's my impression well you know they added hard mode and saws and they gave us a bunch of rewards when you succeed then they add this stuff i saw a lot of people uh, displeased by this angry by this because it makes the level tougher and you get no bonus at all. But uh, I'm not mad at all. No, I really trust Pablo, so he's gonna adjust this. Maybe uh, we're gonna get some rewards of, of some kind because I do spend divinities, so it procs more often. So I don't really see the, the point. Um, it makes the level faster, but it's really tougher. Um, on my fifth try, though, I'll have a successful run, but still, it's pretty difficult. I really think they should focus on offline. Seriously, uh, sometimes I call this game Active Slayer. I love this game, but you have to play manually all the time, especially at the point where I am. They should buff offline by a lot and make this game a true idle game, and it's not really the case. Alright. Now, I'm gonna look at part one only i learned a lot okay and this is what is going to help me succeed check this out so i tried two approaches here because i had problems with it first of all I went on the top if you jump you fall i knew that maybe from the very edge i could try and the other approach was just to fall as usual if i do that bang bang i fall again and i came to the realization that i have to go through the tunnel like this and realizing this was uh, instrumental in my successful run that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Once again I hit saws, oh, look at that treasure hunt and there's this crosshair where there's a shield and why not look at this one treasure chest hunt because I do have CPS bonus and soul bonus, so I was hoping to do well, and there's rarely of this mini game in my uh, video, so I said, oh, why not? See how well I do. I did okay, I guess, and I think, did I read that something happens if you uh, open every single chest? It happens rarely. The odds that this happened are pretty low, but it did happen to me in the past. Apparently, something happens, but I... I read in diagonal, so I'm not so sure. And this is it. This is the successful run. So I'll comment this. Check this out. So that's my fifth try. So here I'm going to walk in the tunnel. No problem. I hit saws though. Now, not hitting saws is possible, of course. But I'm not ready. If one day I make, I think I'm gonna record every single run I do, and the day I will do a super perfect run without hitting saws, I'll show it to you. But uh, it's the first, uh, you know, it's the first day I try this patch, and uh, it's my fifth try, so I gotta, you know, give myself a bit of a chance here. See how I avoid that orb? That's what I'm gonna do the second part. I came to the realization that the key is to avoid. Uh, the orbs and this is my normal route it's only the first orb that I jump over and then after that I do my normal route and everything is okay no problem see nice and after that uh, it's tricky I, I did fail part 4 let's go fast uh, but part 3 has a specific um, thing I'm gonna show you this is the part here, so, okay, so far so good. Okay, small jump, small jump, and here I waited too long and I hit the sauce. I have to wait half a second, it's very precise. If I wait half a second here, I'm gonna jump over the sauce. And I hit, I hit too many sauce, I fail, and I did fail. It's in part three that I fell, not in part four, I don't think I ever fell part four. Because part four, I'm gonna show you part four, is, uh, a little bit like part two. I do exactly the same thing as usual, it's just faster. For instance, small jump, big jump, small jump, 
small jump, big jump. You know what I mean? Like in my guide, no change. So that's not a problem. It's really part three that you have to wait that half second close to the gray block uh, and you should be fine. But question is, look at that. Come on, give me some bonuses here. So I got a bunch of boxes at least because I didn't fall. I was pretty happy with that. I was like, yeah. But uh, I did hit saws. I don't care. <laughs> I made it. And I uh, was uh, kind of hoping for maybe a bonus for not falling, but no, no bonus at all. It really seems like this thing gives nothing. And here I'm just showing you I got a bunch of bonuses. So I'm going to use rage mode. But uh, that's about it here. I'm going to look at achievements. And that should be pretty much it. Would you like a guide on this? Do you think it's necessary? Please let me know in the comments. It would be the same format as my other bonus stage guides. I would use this run as a reference. I do hit saws, but the only goal is not to fall, that's it. Oh, here. Uh, yeah, I forgot. So I was talking about Haskell, right? 200 daily quests, 100 daily quests. So what happened is, once I hit 100 daily quests, I stopped opening Dragon Eggs which means I'm at 113. Gives me a barometer to know when to start recording next once I reach uh, 200. This concludes episode 45 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. Well, that was fun to do this uh, in the middle of the night. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I trust Pablo. I'm sure he's going to fix this thing where we get no rewards at all for having a tougher level and even spend divinities for it to prop more often. I don't think it's a big deal, this game keeps evolving and getting better over time, but once again, please fix the offline, make it idle again. That's really what I hope. But I still love this game and this series will continue. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.